This is where you have your turn signals and your headlight set uh, switches set. So we have an auto, we have parking lights, and then we have headlights. Now I'm sitting in the car with it off and you could hear that tone. As soon as I activate something that would turn on parking lights or headlights, it's going to emit a very loud tone to remind me the car is not running, so don't leave that in that position and run the battery down. Next to that we have a collar that we can turn the fog lights on and off. It's important to note, fog lights only operate when the low beam headlights are on. So if you don't have headlights on or if your high beams are on, your fog lights will not work. So remember that. Also on these cars uh, equipped with uh, auto headlight feature, um, we have the high beam assist feature as well and we activate that by having the headlights set to auto pushing the stock forward to engage the high beams. Now the eyesight cameras will be uh, tracking for incoming headlights at night and if they encounter incoming headlights they'll automatically go to the low beams. Once the headlights pass they'll go back to high beams and that's to give the eyesight cameras increased range at night while you're driving. It's very easy to set. Just set to auto, press the stock forward and it's active. I also encourage folks to turn their fog lights on at the same uh, setting process so that way when your headlights are going to dim back down to low beams your your fog lights will automatically come on and then they'll automatically turn off when you go back to high beams and of course turn signals functionality is here as well uh, underneath the steering column we have the lever that you can flip down so that you can tilt and telescope the wheel so encourage you to get it in a position that's most comfortable for you I like it uh, fully extended and up in the raised position because of my height that gives me the ability to have a clear view of the instrument panel. And I simply flip the lever back up to lock it into place. It does take a little bit of effort to get that, but uh, once you've got it set, you don't ever need to bother with it again. As we move our way across the steering wheel from left to right, I have some controls here for audio. So the top arrows are going to allow me to uh, scroll through my preset radio stations, whether they're FM, AM, or satellite. I can mix and match those on my presets, so uh, sequentially go through those. Uh, these controls will also allow me to uh, move forward on a track, or if I've got something I'm streaming, I can uh, move tracks on what I'm streaming. I can also press and hold, and it will fast forward through the track that I'm listening to. Below that, I have volume adjustment. Below that I have source that will allow me on the fly to change between AM, FM, satellite, uh, streaming, any type of audio source that I have. Next to that I have the hands-free button. I can press that. That's what allows me to interact with the voice control system on the car. So I can set my climate control. I can change uh, audio programming. I can even uh, dictate directions to the navigation system on cars that are equipped with navigation. Uh, it's a very nice feature. We can also make uh, phone calls hands-free. So if we want to make an outgoing call, obviously we just press that and we can tell the car that we, we want to call somebody. Uh, below that we have the uh, phone off hook and phone on hook. Those are to answer uh, incoming calls and then hang up once we've completed our call. Below that we have controls for our information screen in the center uh, between the uh, tachometer and the speedometer on the instrument cluster and it will allow us to uh, manipulate some of the settings of the vehicle. There's an up arrow, an I or enter key and information, and then a down arrow. So we can sequentially scroll through our options there. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise control features and uh, some of the adaptive cruise control features that we can use. So uh, our cruise button, we simply press that to activate the cruise control feature. Once we're in the cruise control mode, we can toggle down to set our speed. With speed set, we can increase or decrease based on preference. We also have buttons that will allow us to increase or decrease the following distance that we are pacing off of the vehicle in front of us. The other button we have on this uh, panel is our lane centering feature. You can keep a very light touch on the steering wheel and you'll feel the wheel actually uh, turning itself. Very, very uh, fine degrees of correction to keep you centered in the lane. So it's a very nice feature. And then right below that control is a control for the heated steering wheel. And once we've activated that, this portion of the wheel will heat up and get nice and warm for your hands to keep you warm.